What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for September. The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's winners. I've commented on your comment from last month's video, so check your notifications if you haven't already claimed your tech. And if you want to win today, all you have to do is drop a big thumbs up down below, leave a comment on what your favorite item is and why you like it, and then lastly, make sure you're subscribed because I'm only going to pick subscribers. Now, kicking this one off, first today, how about this portable handheld vacuum? This room from Wise could be a great addition to keep your desk set up nice and tidy, great for cleaning up your room, keeping the car nice and spotless, all that stuff. So I know a handheld vacuum isn't the most exciting of things really, but I really am digging the overall value to this bundle. So when I first picked this up, I did buy it just for keeping the desktop clean. You know, I got a lot of moving stuff in the studio, I'm constantly filming different aspects, so I always want a nice clean appearance on camera, right? You don't want to see a dusty keyboard, I know. But I was really surprised how powerful this vacuum is. Yeah. Damn. So for all your miscellaneous cleaning needs, we have an extension hose, a narrow crevice tool, a brush tool, flat nozzle, and a head adapter, plus a storage bag to keep everything in. Then when it comes time to empty and clean it, super easy as well. It has a quick release where you can just dump it out. There's also a washable filter on the inside as well. So again, not the most exciting piece of tech, I realize that. But it is something I use around the studio, so I figured it'd be worthy showing off for those who might need it. So for just around $45, you get the gist of it. Super portable and powerful, great for the bedroom setup, the desk setup, the car, anything. Next is a bit of an interesting one. This little guy is this just multi-use mini wireless trackpad mouse. This is called the CheerPod and as you can see, super, super tiny. So this wireless trackpad mouse is gonna let you do a lot of things for a lot of different devices. That's why I really wanted to pick it up. So checking it out on the one side is the mode selector. First up is ground mode, which is using this, you know, like on a surface, like a mouse pad, more so like a traditional mouse that lets you, you know, physically move it around, click, scrolling and stuff. It also supports a bunch of gestures as well for pinching, triple tapping, doing things like, you know, switching virtual desktops, gesturing between windows, that's all supported. But there's also a mode called air mode, which is really interesting. That lets you pick this up and kind of use it like, I don't know, an air mouse. The whole surface then is acting as this portable trackpad where you can still use it to, you know, control the cursor. You can tap the left and right click, still use it to scroll pages up, down, in and out, zooming in, still support for switching between, you know, different windows. And there's also a built-in laser pointer if you want to use this for like presentations or something. Just the real reason for showing this off is because it is really useful for that on-the-go mobile setup. You know, sure, use it for your business meetings. Use it as your desk setup so it's acting as its own little trackpad so you can swipe between different programs. Or use it for all your multimedia consumption, you know, kickback. If you're on your tablet and you're like scrolling through, I don't know, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. It's this really cool wireless trackpad air mouse that I haven't seen really anything else out there kind of replicate, you know? I bought the CheerPod on AliExpress for just around $41. All right, next up, I know we just had the whole back to school tech video, but before I did that, USB-C docks were one of the most common requested things people wanted me to show off, and I did. This one's a bit of a different USB-C dock. It's got a few tricks up its sleeve. So this is from Dock Case, and it's called a Visual Smart USB-C Hub. It's a six-in-one device, and it has this little screen right in the middle, which can show you some really valuable information. Things like the device and hub temperature, current speeds, and other settings. So checking out the physical features, right in the middle is a 1.3 inch display. It connects to your PC or a laptop with a USB-C port. And that's a 1000 watt USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. On the front side is a USB-A port, a second USB-C as well, along with the D key, which is pretty much like the button to control this. On the top side then is a 100 watt PD port, that stands for power delivery. So this USB-C slot can be used for like quick charging and stuff for 100 watts. You then have an HDMI 2.0 capable of 4K and 60 Hertz or 1080p up to 144 Hertz, and then two additional USB-A ports. So like I said, on that screen, it can show you a bunch of real-time info, like your current transfer speeds, device temperatures, you can keep an eye on some stuff. And there's a whole control panel built in where you can go in and sort of fine tune, you know, the power delivery itself to manage certain speeds. It's pretty interesting, I'll admit. 
I personally don't have a big use for it, but I can see how someone who has a lot of stuff going on and really needs to monitor and keep an eye on certain things could definitely find this useful. This dock case six in one comes in just around 45 bucks and they have a bunch of other ones as well with other features. So pretty cool stuff. All right, now next up is obviously this microphone that's right in front of me. And I'm no longer using my $1,000 overhead microphone. I'm using this $40 USB mic. Yeah, it sounds incredible. And no surprises really, because it's from Fifine. And I've showed off Fifine USB mics before. They sound phenomenal. This newer, sleeker one, obviously following right up where they left off. This is called the Ampligame A8. So first up, taking a look at it, it is pretty compact overall, but very sleek. I'm really digging the design here. It comes on its own adjustable stand with a pop filter and a shock mount as well. And it's available to buy in black, white, or pink color options. On the top of the microphone is a touch sensitive mute button. So if you have to quickly kill your mic, you can just tap it. It's green when it's live and when it's muted, the little LED up top will turn red. The whole grill of the microphone illuminates as well. So when you're talking into it, or as you can see from behind it, it's a full 360 illumination and built in, there's a bunch of different static colors as well as two different like gradient cycling effects. And you can toggle between all of them with this dedicated lighting button on the backside. And then right underneath at its butt is the volume dial for controlling the gain. So. Real quick, there is an actual uh, pass-through on the bottom here. It's a 3.5 millimeter, so if you want to plug in like headphones or something to monitor your audio, you can do that. This doesn't control that volume like most of these little knobs do. This actually controls the physical gain of the mic, so on the fly, you can quickly adjust it to, you know, boost your vocals or turn them down if they're getting too loud or harsh, so really digging that. But I mean, you hear the quality of this. It sounds super good. It is a cardioid pickup pattern, so it's made for picking up your vocals the best. It's a 16-bit, 48,000 hertz sample rate, so it's not like the highest tech microphone out there, but for around 50 bucks, like I said, I believe it's just under like 40, 45 dollars, you wouldn't expect those crazy high-end specs, and really, you don't need it, because this sounds perfectly fine. Honestly, like as good as this sounds, I'm also just as much of a fan of the way it's designed. Having that shock mount integrated is going to be great, so it won't pick up on a lot of those micro vibrations on your desktop. Also, that really sleek pop filter here is just great for eliminating plosives, as you could probably tell. But also, the way they have it designed, it actually moves on the shock mount. So I'll demo it for you at real time, but like depending on how you're talking into it, you know, what direction and stuff, you can physically move this and uh, the whole rest of the unit stays in place. Just really well made, really, really impressed. And I mean, come on, this sounds super good for just around $45. Fifine killing it yet again with the A8. All right, then lastly for today is something that I actually showed off last year in an episode of Cool Tech under $100. So you may be familiar with it. I've showed it off in my studio tour for 2022 as well because I use it, I love it, it's awesome. And now it's under 50 bucks. This is Spotify car thing. It's pretty much its own dedicated streaming Spotify player in this tiny compact device. So the car thing device itself is pretty much just a physical, tangible Spotify. It does link to your Spotify premium account. And then from there, via Bluetooth, you can connect it to your phone and then also whatever you have your phone hooked up to. So I know for me in the studio, whenever I come down in Bluetooth range, it's connected automatically. And then that goes right to my Vanatu speakers. So when I'm filming around the room and stuff, instead of having to constantly be on my phone or on my PC to go to Spotify to control the songs, I now have this dedicated player right here on my desk. But with its name being car thing, you know, yeah, you can use it in the car. You know, my 2014 Ford Focus ST doesn't have CarPlay. So if you don't have a real modern car with that sort of advanced UI and stuff, or, you know, any sort of Android Auto or CarPlay, like I said, this could be a great way to have sort of like a smart streaming music player in the car now. Inside the box, it comes with three different mounting options. So you can hook this up and you know have it mounted in your car or wherever you want to put this. In terms of physical features, it's pretty compact. It's just five inches long. The screen itself is four inches and it's also touchscreen. So you can swipe through all your playlists, you know, your like songs, all that with your finger. There's also a big old knob on the right side. You can do that to control volume as well as, like I said, swiping through playlists. There's a back button right underneath that as well. And on top of the device are five separate buttons. 
Four of them are presets for assigning certain playlists to. The last button is also then for settings and quick muting because there's actually built-in microphones. So you can actually tell car thing what to play. You can tell it to play certain playlists, songs, artists, anything. Another use case could be, again, if you're at your desk setup, you know, you're constantly on Spotify, but maybe you don't want to keep bringing up the actual Spotify app or, you know, the program while you're doing something else. Have this right there on your desktop behind your keyboard. And it's made really, really well. Great materials, it feels nice and durable. This has no right being so affordable and cool. So at the end of the day, I just think $30 for this is a steal. Like it's such a good value. And again, you don't have to use it in just your car. But if you don't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in your car already, this is a really nice alternative way to do that in a super compact, sleek little device, right? And like I said, I use it in my studio, just always on Bluetooth, hooked up to speakers. So when I'm, you know, filming and stuff, I could just have its own dedicated Spotify streaming device right here at an arm's reach at all times. So really versatile, super compact. I love it. I think it's really, really cool. And I'm sure some of you out there could definitely appreciate it and probably pick it up and find it useful as well. But guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech, under $50 for September. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, everything I showed off today will be listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.